Need fast, cheap, reliable MUD coins? Go to MMOXP.com for the cheapest coins on the market. And use discount code MONEYSHOT for an additional 5% off your next order. Link in the description below. <laughs> Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniffing out the Madden cheese as always. I uh, got a couple plays for you today out of the Saints playbook. I've been in the Saints playbook in what feels like forever. I'm uh, doing some updates. Also, had a guy on my Patreon request the Saints. So, I'm going to do a full scheme uh, for my Patreon and for my Join Now community. Uh, but for YouTube, I'm going to show you guys a couple of really glitchy plays out of the uh where are we at here the uh it's the tight the gun tight uh offset te uh also known as the gun tight in a lot of playbooks this is a formation that used to be i, I could have swore this was in like every single playbook or maybe half the playbooks now this particular formation is only in two it's in the packers and it's in the saints uh, and the gun tight itself might be in like four so this is actually a pretty rare formation now i don't know if that's uh ea trying to nerf it because it was it used to be really overpowered making it less available is one way to nerf it uh, but like I said, I'm going to show you guys a couple of glitchy plays, including one that I broke down in gameplay uh, not too long ago, the PA shot seams. This particular play, I didn't necessarily show all the things that it can do. I'm going to show a couple of, dish of additional things. I mean, this is a really glitchy play that can beat a lot of different coverages that I really get to touch on uh, because I didn't necessarily have gameplay of me running against people who ran those defenses. But I'm going to show you some really good plays there. And I'm also going to show you a really glitchy play out of the mesh spot, uh, which is going to destroy any pretty much any man or zone. Uh, and, and pretty much a two-play series that you can do uh, a million different things with. So we're going to go, we're going to start off with the PA shot seams, and then on the defensive side, we're going to start off with a regular cover two. Now, before I get into this, this video is brought to you by MMOXP.com, my coin sponsor. If you guys need coins, make sure to check them out. I know a lot of people are picking up this game at the same time they're picking up their new consoles. So if you need to catch up on the Mutt Squad, make sure to check it out through them. Other than that, if you've had success buying Mutt Coins through them, make sure to let us all know in the comments section so you can share how reliable they are because they're one of the best uh, companies when it comes to that in the game. So let's go and let's get right into it. Um, as far as adjustments on a play like this, there really aren't a ton that you have to make. You really have two different sides of the play here, and I really only went over the left side uh, in the original gameplay version. I'm going to move the ball over here. I didn't really go over this in the original video um, when I put this out in gameplay because I really focused more on the left side. Uh, but you can really make big plays out of this B route. This route here is a very good route when it comes to uh, cover two. Um, what the A route is doing is fine. I think that putting him on a streak is a little bit better, though, because I want to pull that safety back as much as possible. And then the X route here, you need something to kind of stop that cornerback from flipping his hips and running with the B route. So a drag route from this route is going to be do uh, it's going to do you know really well. And then you can see this guy here will get past that cover two. So it's not a one play touchdown, but it's a very big play. You can make a one play touchdown out of the Y route though and that's typically the side that i focus on so all i really want to do on the left side is put the x route once again as kind of a decoy put him on a uh a, on a, a flat route and the y route i typically want to smart route him if i'm at like a second and five it's going to be an even shorter release and even better uh, but you have to be aware of what the first down marker is uh, and then you can see this y route here can get outside of that coverage really easily now i'm running out of bounds both times whatever side you're going for or whatever side you're attacking try to run to the open side of the field obviously i would have been gone if it wasn't for the sideline but you can see how this play simply by smart routing that y route and putting that x route in the fade just to pull that cornerback down um, it just gets outside that coverage really fast I and mean, that that safety doesn't typically have a shot there that was actually as close as he's gotten you can really kick this up a notch and I mentioned this in that original video by motioning this, this guy over uh, and putting him on a streak and then, you know, following the same setup. I'll typically either streak the A route uh, to keep the defense honest or put him on a slant or something. But you can see how this is going to pull that safety back even more and make that outside throw even easier. Now we're getting a really easy one-play touchdown against cover two. So there's three different ways you can attack cover two with this particular play. Against man coverage, whether it's cover two or cover one, it's going to be best to run that exact same setup uh, with the exception of putting the the x route here on a zig uh, because that's going to be a better check down so this is pretty much going to be the look now that b route will pull that safety back and you can see we're having a really explosive play because this route destroys man coverage which i went over in that particular video i don't think i put him on a uh, a smart route though which i typically want to do you can motion over the tight end too it really doesn't matter what receiver you motion over um, just as long as you put them on a streak when they get there so i'll do that one more time like i said that y route going to beat that coverage pretty easily i don't really have the speed that i want to beat that route but you can see how explosive that is but whether it's cover if it's cover one man it's going to be even easier 
um, the Y routes, could, there's going to be no safety over the top, but against cover two man, uh, that safety can get in the way a little bit, but you can see, I mean, he's really roasting that coverage by himself, and then you can see, I mean, if I just had a little more speed, Michael Thomas isn't necessarily the guy, but you can easily hit one play touchdowns with this play. And then last but not least, out of things that the PA shot seams can do, um, is it can beat cover four quarters, which is something that I didn't necessarily go over. So in a cover four quarters, cover four palms, uh, cover six on the cover four side, uh, which if you guys don't know, half of a cover six is a cover two, half of it is a cover four. All you have to do is motion this guy out, put him on a comeback route, and this is going to completely glitch that defense. So the Y route here, um, he just basically just runs right past it a lot like he does the man coverage. Uh, and then once again, didn't quite have the speed, but you can see 50 yards, he's gone. Go ahead and I'll do that one more time just to show you that's not really fluky. You can put the uh, the X route on a smart route too. Um, you can put the Y route on a smart route the same way. Uh, all these things don't really matter though. As you can see, I mean, it's really going to have the same effect. So if somebody runs cover four quarters, this is going to be explosive play against that once again. And we don't, still don't really have the speed that we want, but you can see it's a 50-yard TD. So to give myself a good cover three play, we're going to go with the mesh spot. All I really want to do, if you see, if I put this, uh, this Y route here, which is breaking at about what? almost 15 yards if i put him on a smart route he breaks at about five uh which is perfect so i'm going to streak the the x route here block the running back uh motion out sanders here put him on put the a route on a streak and then the b route i can do whatever i want with i'll typically slant him but this is going to be a really explosive one play touchdown against cover three uh because that that smart route really pulls apart uh, the cornerback. I'll go to the replay to show you what to look for. This cornerback here is going to follow that streak back because this is his job to follow the deepest receiver. But the second this, this receiver breaks shallow to the outside, he has to break to that. So he'll eventually cut to that. The second he does that, all you really have to do is bullet and pass lead outside. I mean, I'm probably already throwing the ball if I go back to the uh, the animation here, yeah, like I said, the second I see that cornerback to bite to the outside, and then it's the old fashioned if he's even, he's leaving. There's other plays in this formation that don't quite make that dramatic of a uh, change when you do the um, when you do the uh, the smart route. That's really what makes this play work is that smart route depth that you get um, that you don't necessarily get in every other look. So let's go and let's do that one more time. Like I said, just to show you, this is not a fluky play at all. Uh, like I said, second it gets that uh, that break. I think I had somebody around my feet, uh, chomping at my feet there. But ultimately, like I said, really easy one play touchdown against cover three. This can also be a really good play against man coverage. I'm in man cover two, so the X route's going to pull back the, the cover two safety. Uh, but the Y route here can get some really dominant releases. You can see right here uh, and make some really big plays. And I probably should have bullet passed that. I might have got more out of that. But you can see, I mean, this is, you know, a lot of times when it comes to beating press, it's it's not always, you're not always going to get that. But you can see I'm getting some really consistent animations here uh, because of how short that route is. It just gets behind the defense really fast. So if it's a cover one, I can only imagine how much better this would be um, because there wouldn't be anything over the top. But you can see, I mean, I, you rarely want a bullet. Uh, when it comes to um, man coverage because the coverage is usually pretty tight but this is so far off um, that you can see how I can really uh, bullet to get that out and then outrun the cover to safety. Against cover one man this can be even glitchier. I'm going to motion out um, the X route and put him on a smoke uh, because I don't want him getting in the way at all uh, but this Y route here I mean it just I don't even know what to make of that. I mean he really just breaks uh, the dude in coverage right away and I don't even have a fast receiver if I had a faster receiver it'd be even worse but this is something where that um, we're smart ragging this at five yards I mean the cornerback kind of I don't want to say glitches out but he really doesn't react um, to the break at all uh, which is pretty rare which is pretty rare when it comes to, to man coverage as you can see how I mean man coverage is super tight this year uh, but this one this is this is completely uh, unlike anything uh, you're typically going to see when it comes to these to these man routes. Like I said, he really just stops, and then you can get that pass out uh, quick enough. I mean, I probably should have floated it, but um, there's definitely uh, opportunity here to, to make a big play. So this is something, if somebody's running a lot of man coverage, uh, this is definitely going to get... Uh, Get some uh, be some problems for him and like i said if you got a really fast receiver um you can house call this very easily this play also works outside of cover four uh this is regular cover four drop show two and that y route because it breaks so dramatically um it gets outside of these these outside cornerbacks they don't really play that really that well um, when it comes to these breaking outside routes, um, they just kind of make a straight drop back and they just don't really cover outside areas. So you can see I'm not hitting a one play touchdown, but it's a really easy play when it comes to cover four. So I'm going to end the video there. I'm going to put the rest of this on my Patreon. There's definitely going to be 
um, at least two or three more plays. So if you guys want to see that, you're going to have to sign up either on my Patreon or the Join Now button uh, below. Just hit that, and it'll be in the Community tab. Uh, and that's it. Other than that, if you guys want to see more Saints, make sure to hit the Like button and let me know in the comment section. And that's it. Thanks for watching, man. Wish it out. <coughs> Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.